Without a draft angle, a rigid part coming out of a rigid mold, there's friction happening all along this point to this point. It's called drag. There's a chance that the surfaces that are being dragged get damaged. So a draft angle, once the part starts to exit, there's a much larger gap that forms all around the part. You're not getting rubbing all the way up. Once you know about draft angles, you might start seeing them everywhere. Quite a pronounced draft angle on this. Pops out of the mold in this direction and the draft angle helps it release. On the other end of the spectrum are plastic parts that are perceived as having straight walls, like this charging block, but there's a very slight draft angle to this. This part is drafted this way, probably pops out of the part in this way. Now we have a question for you. As a designer, understanding draft angles helps us dissect how objects we don't design ourselves are made. And sometimes we come across something that stumps us. So the question is, how is a complicated part like this lid extracted from the mold? The simple incorporation of draft angles won't help because of these threads. Each one of these threads is an overhang. So you can't really just pull it out of the mold. You would destroy all the threads. What do you think happens here? Or what do you know happens here? Does anyone know what's happening here? 